the first function f of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 equals omega naught plus omega 1 times the square root of x sub 1 plus omega 2 times x sub 2 divided by x sub 3. So this function features a square root term, which is the square root of x sub 1, which is indicating that it is a nonlinear relationship with x sub 1. And the term x sub 2 divided by x sub 3 is a ratio which introducing a nonlinearity through the division of one feature by another. So this graph illustrates how the function changes primarily with x sub 1 and x sub 2, since we are assuming x sub 3 is a constant. So the output increases as the x sub 1 increases due to the square root transformation, which grows slower and slower than a linear function, right? And we are assuming that x sub 3 is a constant here. So the division of x sub 2 by x sub 3 is influences the slope respected to the x sub 2. And then we need to set specific values for the constants omega 0, omega 1, and omega 2 for one of the variables so that we can visualize it in a three-dimensional space. So let's choose the following values. Omega 0 is 1, omega 1 is 2, omega 2 is 3, and then we say the x sub 3 is 1, so that we can simplify the visualization just by removing the division's complexity. And so we can simplify the function into f of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 equals 1 plus 2 times the square root of x sub 1 plus 3 x sub 2, so that we can put this function in the range of x sub 1 and x sub 2's values, so that we can give a clean visualization, right? The x sub 1 axis ranges from 0 to 4, which is appropriate since we are talking about the square root of x sub 1, and we need to avoid complex numbers, right? And the x sub 2 axis ranges from the negative 2 to positive 2, which is showing how changes in x sub 2 linearly affect this function. And the z axis represents the function's output which is showing the combined influences both x sub 1 and x sub 2 on the function f. As you can see, the output increases with the increase in x sub 1 due to the square root operation, right? And it is more stably because the x sub 2, it is directly scales the output, right? So this function clearly demonstrates the nonlinear interaction between the x sub 1 and x sub 2 in the determinant value of function f. Let's look at the second function, f of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 equals omega naught plus omega 1 times x sub 1 square plus omega 2 times x sub 2 square plus omega 3 times x sub 3 square. So each feature, x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 is squared. Again, this is introducing a nonlinear dependency. This graph shows the squared dependencies creating parabolic growth as either x sub 1 or x sub 2 increases. So this function grows rapidly because the square term amplifies the effects of larger values. Let's try to say the specific values of the constant omega, and we try to simplify it by stating the x sub 3 is 1, so that we can visualize it in three-dimensional space. So specifically, the omega naught is 0 for its simplicity, and omega 1 is 1, uh, omega 2 is 1, and omega 3 is 1. So this function simplified into f of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 equals x sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 squared plus 1. So that we can visualize this function for a range of x sub 1 and x sub 2's value to give it a very clear view to this behavior. Here, the values of x sub 1 and x sub 2 both range from negative 2 to positive 2, and the z-axis represents the function's output, which is increases as either x sub 1 or x sub 2 move away from 0, due to its have square terms, which demonstrating a parabolic increase. So this function be a simple quadratic in two variables, which form a parabolic shape. So this visualization effectively shows the nature of quadratic function in three dimensions which the output is influenced by the squared values of the input variable. Let's look at the third function, which is f of x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 equals omega 1 times e to the power of x sub 1 
plus omega 2 times e to the power of x sub 2 plus omega 3 times the cosine of x sub 3. So in here, the exponential terms like e to the power of x sub 1 and e to the power of x sub 2 provide a nonlinear effect as uh, exponential functions grow in increasing rate. And the cosine terms, the cosine of x sub 3, introduce a periodic behavior, which is a common nonlinear characteristic here. So here, the exponential growth due to the e to the power of x sub 1 and e to the power of x sub 2 is evident with showing a sharp increases. And the cosine term for the cosine of x sub 3, although it's not shown separately in this coordinate system, right? But it would also introduce a periodic fluctuations, which adding a nonlinear dynamics difference from the exponential growth. Let's try to set the specific values for omega 1, omega 2, and omega 3. And we try to simplify the visualization by keeping one variable constant so that we can explore how the x sub 1 and x sub 2 affect the function, where we set in the x sub 3 to a constant value like pi over 2, which is simplifies the cosine term to 1. So specifically, omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 is 1, and x sub 3 is pi over 2, so that we can reduce our function into e raised to the power of x sub 1 plus e raised to the power of x sub 2 plus 1. In this graph, we plot it over a range of x sub 1 and x sub 2's values. So as either x sub 1 or x sub 2 increases, the values of this function rapidly increases due to the exponential nature of these terms. And the output surface forms a curve that slopes steeply upwards as we move away from the origin in the positive direction for either x sub 1 or x sub 2. So this visualization effectively shows how the exponential growth in one or both variables contributes a significantly increase the function's value, which capturing the essence of the exponential function in three-dimensional space.